Alrighty you guys, hello, welcome to the video. We just dropped off our first order of the evening. It is Thursday, um, and now we are going to get our second order, which is from Taco Bell. Um, it's five dollars for a couple miles. And I filmed the, the sky, I can't talk today. I filmed the sky uh, a little bit ago, and it was really crazy looking. I'll insert that in right here. But now it's clear. I mean, it's, it's a little dark in a couple spots, but nothing like it was. So I think the storms are maybe going around us. I'm not sure. But anyway, that was pretty scary looking. We were like, I don't, know, I don't think we're going to go dash. And then it went around, so we are like, okay, we'll dash. But yeah, anyway, we're at Taco Bell pulling in, so I'm going to go in and see if it's ready. They were packaging it up as I got in there, and we got it dropped off pretty quick. But guys, look how beautiful this sunset was that night. Oh my God, I can't get over it. Well guys, it is Friday, finally. We made it to Friday. And we got our first order that's worth taking. Already got it picked up from McDonald's and we're not that far from the drop off. But uh, yeah, it was kept telling me it was busy. They sent me like, how many texts did I say? Eight, seven texts? Saying you scheduled a dash, you scheduled a dash. I'm like, shut the F up, I'll get to it when I get to it. So anyway, that's really annoying. Does they, do they do that to y'all? Like, I appreciate the message because sometimes you're like, oh, shit, I didn't even realize it was already whatever time you're scheduled for, you know? But I only it's not even I like, seven of them. It's not even spread out. It's all at once. Yes, like, they send them all at once, like, I back to back. if you did it, like, maybe every five minutes, but, like... Shit. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to go drop off this McDonald's order. It's already 6.55. Um, they sent us a couple of really shitty orders when we first started. One of them, I think I screenshotted, it was... I believe uh, $3 to go get 26 items from the dollar store. No, thank you. Wasn't going to do that. The other one was to tractor supply one item for $3, which I know was a bag of dog food. Um, and I, I'm not going to go get like a 50 pound bag of dog food for $3. So didn't do that one either. But anyway, we got this good McDonald's order. We're going to get it dropped off and we'll see what else we can get. Okay, second order of the night it is only <laughs> cute dogs it is only four dollars but it's something and I'm getting a bunch of crap I got two more uh, like three dollar orders and I declined both of those so tonight's not going too great but it is what it is it's four dollars and he literally lives like four blocks from the place it's just this place is you know couple miles away from where we usually sit and wait for orders so um, that's where the mileage comes from really but yeah we're gonna go in and grab it it's just a cheese pizza and uh we'll go get it dropped off i was just picking up an order for ray uh, thank you we're at sonic guys it's been a while since we got an order it's been really slow tonight but this one's not bad so we're gonna get it picked up sonic order has been dropped off we dropped it off literally a few blocks behind subway drove like two miles back this way and then got a subway order so now we're going back that way to go pick up this order and get it dropped off um i don't think i've delivered to this person before that i remember so anyway it's just a sandwich and chips i believe so it should be easy subway usually has had it ready uh, when we get there so We'll see. I jinxed it guys. I said Subway always has the orders ready, which he would have, but they were out of, woo, it was bumpy. They were out of the Italian cheese bread he wanted. They were making all new breads and all they had was wheat bread. So I had to ask him if that was okay and he said yes. So they made it really quick afterwards. Didn't take very long at all. But um, anyway, we got that one dropped off. And I hate when the app does that. It, he said in the comments, which luckily I, had, I called him, so he probably figured it was fixing to be delivered. But he left in the delivery instructions to text when I drop it off. And I couldn't because his name is not in the text uh, section on DoorDash for some reason. It just disappeared and I can't contact him anymore. So that's really weird. But anyway, hopefully he saw. He had a ring camera that was recording and everything, so I'm sure he got notified. But yeah, we'll probably go for just a few more minutes and uh, see if we can get any last minute orders. Hey guys, so it is actually Sunday. Justin and I took a little day off yesterday to go do some things we like to do. We went, ate at our favorite restaurant. We drove a few hours away. Um, 
we went to a couple of our favorite shops, you know, just, just took the day to go do something we wanted to do, something fun. We haven't done that in a while. So we don't have any footage from yesterday, but it is Sunday afternoon. I didn't feel like dashing because it's super windy and I just like, it's annoying carrying people's food and drinks in the wind and leaving them at the door because you think, you know, you feel like they're going to blow away. But I turned Spark on and we did get an offer. So we're going to run Spark for a little bit. Um, but we just got here. This is an express order. So we're going to go in and shop for it. Well, guys, it is insanely windy. They said, I think, 60 mile per hour winds, which it feels crazier than that because I feel like we have 60 mile per hour winds all the time. But it's wild. I took a, some pictures and videos of um, what the sky looks like right now. It looks like, it almost looks like smoke, you know, because it's just dirt all in the sky and it looks kind of crazy um but yeah i don't think we're gonna go out and try to dash on this there's no point i don't i wouldn't think anybody would even order in this because it, i guess you could do the hand it to me but the food's gonna fly everywhere you cannot hold on to the bag like it's it's crazy we just were putting we went and got our own groceries and uh we were trying to put everything in the back and we were like having to close our eyes because dirt was blowing in them it's crazy but Anyway, we got our grocery shopping done. So we didn't meet our goal this week, but that's okay because we've exceeded our goal the last few weeks, so it'll make up for it. Um, and we got to get out of town and, you know, do something fun for once, so I'm not mad. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go home and put our groceries up. I might go visit with my niece and brother and his wife for a little bit. Um, I got her a Winnie the Pooh outfit. I'm a sucker for Winnie the Pooh, guys. Like, my grandma, she used to call me Pooh Bear, so I have like a tattoo in her honor and i'm just i just love all these poo it's just so cute it's just super cute and so i don't have any kids and i don't plan on having any kids and so i gotta spoil my niece you know so uh anything i see winnie the pooh i'm like shit i have to buy it i just have to that's okay she's adorable she deserves all the cute things so anyway she's learning to walk so i'm gonna go over there and watch her walk around I think that'd be pretty funny and i'm gonna go ahead and end this video i know it's a short one but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway thank you all so much for watching and we will see you on the next video